You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. I am your host, co host, Mr. Paul. <laughs> and I'm Rob. Uh, man, it's been a while since I've been in this chair, it feels like. Yeah, you have been on vacation in the nice, fine country of Belize. Indeed, yeah, and I totally recommend it. Man, it was much needed. Thank you for letting me go. Wonderful time, family time, swimming with sharks. Highly recommend it, but I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back hanging out with you on the show. And as always, this hasn't changed, going to Belize and back. Very thankful that you're with us as well, so... Better Belize it. that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Better. So we were, uh, uh, you know, talking about the trip. My family was excited, blah, blah, blah. The whole Better Belize it thing. My wife really hooked on to that little <laughs> saying. Maybe her most excited moment on the whole trip was when we were in Placencia Village, small little village at the end of the peninsula. We walk up to this little, like, hut restaurant thing. Lots of those there. And in the back, their sign says, better Belize it. <laughs> That's, That's just, funny. We have a picture somewhere anyways, made her trip. I thought it was awesome. So anyways, go yeah. to Belize. Yeah, no, it seems like you had a really good, a really good time. I'm kind of mm. jealous I didn't get to go down there with you and just document you guys having fun. That could, would have been fun in itself. But uh, it also just goes to show how the skills as a drone pilot slash videographer really transfer into uh, the family life because you're able to really, you know, showcase family in a unique, cool way that makes the family feel good about themselves. In addition, That's makes true. for uh, really great material for family heirlooms later on in life. So. Yeah, yeah. No, and actually, I may or may not have gotten some pretty cool footage while there because I think technically you're only supposed to fly a drone there if you're going to do work for a Belize business. Interesting. Yeah, isn't that interesting? I've seen a lot of Belize drone footage, so I would wonder how their enforcement is. I would guess that it's maybe not so much. <laughs> but <laughs> either way, let's get into <laughs> today's show. Um, today's show is brought to you by the fine community of the Drone U community. Man, I've been seeing a lot of posts in there of just members helping each other out and getting, uh, you know, helping each other get high-end jobs and whatnot. It's really, really awesome. In addition, someone came up to me at this last conference that we were at and they were just like, you know, it's really becoming evident that Drone U trained pilots, the ones that have really, you know, gone to your in-person and courses, the ones that are really taking it further, they're making a name in this industry because it's very clear who has been trained by you guys and who hasn't. And that was maybe the second time I'd heard that. I know it's a little shameless plug, but I just have to say, uh, Rob, that was something that happened while you were gone. And, you know, very, very proud of that. Very grateful for the community at hand. It's a community uh, where we have an attitude of gratitude. And also, don't forget, guys, if you are a DroneU member or if you want to support DroneU in the show, you can become a member. Also, don't forget to fill out your profiles in the membership community as we have a new system uh, for getting drone jobs out to our students slash teammates slash friends. So make sure you fill that out. Just go to the DroneU.com. Also, quick update, we've got a mapping class coming up in Austin, Texas next month in November. I believe it's the first or second week of November. Can't really remember, but... Uh, uh, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. 7th if you're going to do flight mastery. Awesome. And also, it's uh, near the Lake Travis area, so I think it's going to be a really fun area. Might even try to get a subject tracking class in there, Rob. Who knows? Who knows? If I'm feeling lucky. But, uh, I, you know, we're supposed to be going to that conference, quote unquote, <laughs> as a team. Uh, and I'm excited to see if that actually comes to fruition or not, because we actually already paid for the hotel. So <laughs> no pressure. Um, but anyway, if you want to join us for one of those trainings, just go to the droneu.com and check out training events. So anyway, check that out. But let's go ahead and hear today's awesome question. Hi, guys. Brian here from Chicago. Appreciate the work you guys are doing. This would be my second question I have for you. This is probably one you guys have a little more of an expertise in. I was wondering how you can speed up the process of mission being uploaded to drone in the PIX4D data acquisition app. I'm constantly coming out to the field with charged up batteries and ready to go. And then I wait 
20 minutes or longer to get these missions uploaded to the drone. By the time it's uploaded, the battery's half gone and I have to change out batteries already. Um, I'd appreciate an answer this if you guys know. Uh, yeah, basically camera setup and mission not uploaded to the drone are the two biggest obstacles in the in the checkoff list. I just cannot find out a solution to those. Appreciate the work you guys are doing and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Um, I love when this happens. It actually happens a lot. So Paul and I are on our walk listening to questions, which we do every week, which is a fantastic time. And this question comes in and Paul says, oh, I know what the problem is. <laughs> that yeah, happens a lot, actually. I've, I've had that problem happen uh, myself actually quite a bit. And in fact, I remember at a particular golf course uh, where the the issue really, really uh, comes to fruition. But that being said, Rob, you know, this is actually a very simple problem. Um, typically, whenever you're starting up your drone, you're using Pix4D Capture. Depending on the drone, like if you're using a P3 or even the original P4, the startup time for that particular drone is significantly longer than what we're used to with the Phantom 4 Pro or the Phantom 4 Advanced or even the Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, Inspire 1, Inspire 2. Now, that said, there's a couple things that could be going on here. Now, if you actually, like, you know, fire up Pix4D for whatever reason, uh, unfortunately, we don't have the Apple TV plugged in, so I can't show this on the switcher, but I'll do that for next show. Um, but essentially, when you got Pix4D, you know, ready to go, and you've turned on the drone, a lot of people already have pix 40 already turned on and then they plug in the cord into the remote with the remote on and the drone is on and they click go and they wait for that hourglass there's that last hourglass that always shows up next to the start button and then you click the start button and it has those nine things that essentially you get check marks next to mm. as a part of the pre-flight check things like does the drone know its home position do you have an sd card in there are you too far from the starting position is the camera uh, calibrated correctly and has the mission uploaded to the drone. Well, if you essentially are very impatient, like myself, and you try to you know, turn on the drone right away and within the next 60 seconds, try to turn on Pix4D Capture and start, you'll notice two problems typically take place every single time. Problem number one, the drone doesn't have a home point position, so it will not upload the mission to the drone. Or problem number two is that it says camera setup error. Now, I've had camera setup error happen literally hundreds of times. Um, now, typically, that's my first indication that I've started the process too soon. So mm. typically, what I'll do is I'll close out Pix4D, like all the way closed out, open it back up, and you know, you're leaving the drone turned on during this time, okay? Mm. So you turn on uh, Pix4D Capture, go back into your mission, press start, and typically, the camera uh, setup error will go away within 60 seconds. So typically what this problem occurs from is the fact that the user is trying to actuate the application before the drone is essentially ready to accept all those uh, inputs and those parameters. Now that being said, I've also had the issue of this come up you know, significantly over and over and over and over again. And the issue actually was the drone. So I had, to I had to power cycle the drone, power cycle the remote, and power cycle the application on my phone and the camera sensor went away. I actually like, it took 10, 15 times of doing that in order to figure out what was actually going on. And it was essentially, you've got to wait like two to three minutes for the drone to get ready. Even with the P4P, you're waiting a couple minutes. You fire it up. How do you know that you're pretty much ready to go? You'll see the drone show up on the map in Pix4D Capture. It's literally that oh, simple. I was just going to ask that question. Is there an indicator? That is the indicator. Hmm. Now, here's the interesting thing because, you know, we've got a lot of drone U classes. A lot of people ask us all the time, why should I attend a drone U class over, let's say, a Pix4D class when I want to learn drone mapping? Well, we don't just teach on Pix4D. We teach on a suite of applications now. The class is a little bit more than it used to be. But also, you get these resources, these documents, and actually on this document... If you have the glitch of camera not calibrated, which is literally exactly what we're talking about right now, Rob. Um, and if you look, when I made this document almost two years ago, there was supposed to be an update as of 1-2-18, but unfortunately there was not an update and people continue to have this issue. Now that being said, it also goes to show why going to a DroneU training may be in your best interest because you get these beautiful documents, these resource documents, and you can look at them and see if they're going to solve your problem. Now to everyone who has attended a class and continues to email me questions, all those students know 
if there's an answer to those questions, I will just email them, check this document. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why the documents are created to help them and to create efficiencies in the process of doing so. But what it shows is that you want to learn from somebody who actually uses the software on a regular basis, right? True. Because that's where these things get figured out. True. Is having to deal with them yourself and with our other instructors and so forth. So anyways, very cool. You know, it is very cool. It's also very cool that, you know, this is one of those things too, Rob, that I think is a piece of information. Like Einstein said, the true wisdom is only gained through knowledge and experience or knowledge is only gained through experience. Great example right here. Yeah, so. exactly. And right. it's, uh, <laughs> I love the persistence. You have to do it 10 maybe 15 times <laughs> because most people I think would probably give up at three, four, maybe five times yep. and then throw their hands up in the air. Yep. Right. Um, maybe not most, a lot. I don't know. But anyways, you got to be persistent at figuring this stuff out. You really do. I mean, you really, really do. So, but it's a great, it's a great uh, opportunity. And also our new video on what is drone mapping comes out soon. Very excited about that as we finally have our chance to explain to everyone what is drone mapping. Um, but if you're like me and you understand that drone mapping is an extreme system of complex nuances and in order to get it right, you have to know those things. You can join us for a drone you mapping class. If you are an enterprise provider and you're trying to train a team, you want a custom training, we offer those as well. And enterprise trainings, you can book one through the site as well. Um, and if you're looking for personalized training, chances are you'll go through the whole team and then reach out to me. We'll get you a proposal. And uh, we look forward to working with you. It's, you know, the last classes, Rob, it's amazing how many people have been at them. It's like the word is really starting to spread. And, and that's something to be truly grateful for. Absolutely. And it just adds to the community of people who are helping each other, which as we've said for years now, that's one of the best parts of DroneU is the uh, the community of people that are helping each other. And that is true on a macro basis relative to, to DroneU, but also on a micro basis when it comes to the mapping classes and that community of people who have been to a mapping class and they're helping true. each other. They're doing projects together as well. I was emailing with Jeff up in the Northwest ah. and he's, maybe they're helping each other out up there because they know they've both been to the drone U class or the two or three of them, whatever it is. And they get that they have the same thought process, knowledge base, um, desire to help each other, desire to be excellent in the things that they're doing. And so they're teaming up and doing really cool stuff together. So it actually is being transformed from classroom, practical learning into jobs, which, ah, that's the exciting part. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a clear navigation, but it's not going to be a clear navigation for everyone. It's not going to be easy, but if you apply yourself and you have a passion to learn, you're going to be just fine. And on that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks again for joining us. Don't forget to leave us a review or subscribe to the show wherever you listen to them. I see a lot more of you listeners from Spotify. Don't forget to leave us a review on Spotify. It really, really helps us out. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name's Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.